Now, I believe that college isn't just the best investment that you can make in your future. It's the best investment you can make in your country's future. This is uh, consumer, consumer debt. Mortgages at $9.5 trillion. Student loans, $1.6 trillion. Make public colleges and universities tuition free and cancel all student debt in America. Roughly 45 million Americans owe student loans. The average student debt in the United States is $33,000, while the median is $17,000. However, it wasn't always this way. In 1944, President FDR signed the Serviceman's Readjustment Act, better known as the GI Bill, to give federal funds to returning World War II veterans to help them buy homes, get an education, and readjust to civilian life. By 1956, almost half of the 16 million war veterans had education or training. Then in 1954, the Supreme Court overturned Plessy v. Ferguson, and African Americans had a chance at higher education. Our work has helped to uh, catalyze and guide this national reform movement around among community colleges. They really came to the fore in the 1960s and 70s when the U.S. was trying to, uh, really the first in the world, to expand access to higher education. Even like in the 1950s, very small proportion of the population got uh, a college education. It was predominantly male, predominantly white. Higher education has always been championed as a way to lift people out of poverty. However, it isn't the path for everyone. And I think it's really important to, to validate um, all avenues that young people decide to take because um, there's, we need to honor those pathways. We need to strengthen them. Um, we need to encourage people to look at all the different possibilities. College may not be the gateway to success, but there are drawbacks of not going. The probability of making the earnings that will put you into arguably the middle class are very high if you have a BA and above, somewhere in the area of 75 to 85%. If you have a high school degree, the probability of getting a job that even gets you close to being in the middle class is closer to around 30%. Higher education is increasingly becoming more expensive. After the 2008 recession, states cut funding substantially and passed the burden of paying for college to students. This caused colleges to increase tuition, reduce faculty, and limit course offerings, leaving many students and families whose wages have stagnated or fallen unable to afford college. Students of color or low income have it especially hard. Even when they can afford to attend, African Americans typically borrow more money than their peers and nearly half of them default. We need to free our young people from this from this crushing debt. You know, the, 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 the short answer in the African American community specifically, a staggering 65% of the wealth of African American families goes towards servicing student loan debt. With the rising cost of tuition, more students are suffering from debt. Unfortunately, it's extremely difficult to discharge during bankruptcy. Only 0.1% of student loan borrowers who file for bankruptcy attempt to discharge the loans. If students default, the government can garnish wages, collect social security retirement, and intercept income tax refunds. At any one time, 15% of student loans are in default and 11% of students default within three years of graduation. So how do we solve the student loan problem? What the federal government, what Congress needs to do is to triple the average Pell Grant immediately and then index the maximum Pell Grant to the inflation rate so that it goes up each year based on inflation. I would target any sort of debt relief um, to uh, mi uh, you know, low and middle income resourced individuals for whom the debt uh, represents a very significant burden um, and impacts uh, ability to uh, maybe access federal grants to continue education or um, you know, impacts you know, other, other challenges within their, their family dynamics. Senator Warren from Massachusetts uh, has a bill to revise the student loan uh, debt you know, I was one of the original sponsors of when she introduced it, uh, but it would basically wipe away $50,000 of student debt for borrowers with an annual household income of less than $100,000, and it would help over 42 million Americans. Getting a college education shouldn't be putting families in the red for decades. Student loans affect roughly a seventh of all Americans, and this is personal for them. We're encouraging people to go to school and, and further their education. I think it's great for our economy and great for our, our population to be more educated. Uh, but we're not really being honest about the price tag that comes with. I myself will be in college this fall, and I'm concerned about how I'm going to pay for it. 
there needs to be a two-pronged approach that helps students with crippling debt, especially the minorities and low-income communities, while also making college affordable in the future.